Well, dozens of actors and volunteers arrived to a Maryland hospital today for triage and treatment. And Paul Gessler reports it was an exercise for all to prepare for potential real life mass casualty events. Emergency staff at University of Maryland Baltimore Washington Medical Center prepare for dozens of patients Wednesday. What we're hoping to test is our ability to handle a mass casualty event, especially a pediatric event. Miles away, a simulated bus crash at Fort Meade. Fire, police, and EMS all involved in the mock exercise. Whenever a disaster occurs, we're not doing that in isolation. We're doing that in partnership with several other agencies within the community. Doctors say similar real life events across the country emphasize the importance of staying prepared. It's our responsibility as a hospital and a community partner to be prepared to handle such an event. Volunteers and students from Fort Meade High School's Drama Club arrive by bus. There will be makeup, we call that moulage. So they'll look like they have injuries. Doctors say drills like this are usually done a few times each year, but this is the first time in a while due to COVID restrictions. This prepares us better than any type of uh, classroom training could happen. Uh, this is as real as it gets. Any allergies to medicine? They hope the skills sharpened Wednesday are ultimately not needed. Once the drill is finished, staff and leadership can determine what went right and what went wrong. It's the only way to develop the muscle memory you need in that situation when the adrenaline kicks in. It requires a very different skill set than routine emergency operations. In Glen Burnie, Paul Gessler for WJZ.